All right, so here we are. Let me change my, uh, change some stuff around. Stream info, etc., etc. What mysteries does this hold? What? Or Karina of Time. Oh, that sounded that did that was not fun to say. I hated that every second of that. Or Karina. That's my first playthrough here. Sure, we'll say yeah, we'll say it's my first playthrough. Uh, Any who's it's what? Chat. We're gonna explore the uh, the. It was leaked about a month ago, and I'm just kind of really late to it. Chili cheese Fritos and grated cheese. I mean. Um, cracker is usually, for me, honestly, is, is usually what I put on it. Okay, so we're gonna make a quick save here. And, uh, yeah, just head down the line and see what's going on. So I know for a fact that, uh, that this is a bit more... Let me fix one more thing. So I know for a fact that, um, this first area is pretty neat. I know what you're thinking. Oh, why is it taking damage? It's because the whole damn floor here is lava because reasons. I, I don't know why it is, but you know, it does a really good job of putting us on a timer like right away. And yes, the whole floor is lava, even this stuff. Also, you can walk right through the doors because there's no collision on them. So that's just interesting. And that is the extent of what I have explored so far. That's really all I know about this. It's the temple of those... Yeah, yeah, they're... I don't know... See, I wonder if maybe you can use the hammer on or something. Okay. Well, there's nothing to them right now, unfortunately. I'm really glad that they scrapped this whole lava floor idea. <laughs> this is really annoying. <laughs> Honestly. Alright, let's come through here. And that's it, chat. We're in brand new territory. Never before seen by your boy. Also, if you wonder why I'm doing these jumps, it's because it takes you... It resets the timer for uh, touching ground. So that's why I keep doing it. Someone had mentioned levitate was a really good idea, so I'm actually going to see... Um... Might have to see if we can do that. Okay. I have the debug levitate on, so that should be fine. Uh, let's start just exploring then. Is this Ganondorf's castle? This is very, like, up. Uh... Oh, hello. Is this actually Ganondorf's castle? What do we got? What? Okay, a little different, a little different. That's cool. Thank you for jump scaring me with damage. Like, maybe this is just lava. <laughs> And I'm just like, oh, I'll just step in the lava. I mean, the whole thing's hot, but... Stop it, I was just about to backflip. There's a very interesting, uh, very interesting music for this. Hello? What is up here? Uh, nothing finished, it seems. Maybe this was like early Ganondorf fight? I mean, I, I don't get me wrong, I'm glad that it uh, turned out the way that it was uh, that they finally settled on, but I wonder if I can get out of bounds or something? Yeah, I should really be trying to 
break as many things as possible, chat. It's a great idea. Also, FFA is available if anyone is interested. Okay, so I haven't explored this door here. Or the one to the right. Wait, is there something like up above that I can get there with? No, there wasn't. Okay. I was wondering if, if there was like a hookshot platform, maybe. Okay. I, I I see you. All this is just like crazy awesome to me. I, I don't know why. Like, it's really hard to explain like why this is so cool to me. What's the bloody point? All right, well, chat, I believe we have um, explored all we can through here. So with that in mind, let's just head to the Deku Tree. Maya, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. We're doing some OOT exploration. All right. That's true. The floor will be really hot in this scenario. I hadn't really considered that, honestly. I always love like looking at what they changed and stuff you know what i mean so just kind of seeing all of this and like i wish that the assets were here too because i haven't seen a single enemy so i'm guessing the enemies are maybe not active in the de in the uh beta or something or in this build or whatever but i can see like i can see ideas of where stuff is from Do that. Bomb jump, by the way. Super useful tech. I really just want to see what's at the top here. And then we can explore. Man, I really should be exploring all these offshoots. I kind of wanted to explore like the entire spiral in the center and just go like one room by a room. Also, there's collision on these doors, which kind of hints at that uh there, these doors were a little bit further along. This is this place looks really kind of confusing. Cause there's like doors going all over the place, and this is this is a big spiral, like a huge spiral. Can we have this one instead? I don't know, man. This is a uh, this is kind of confusing to me. It does feel a bit more tree-like, though. I will give you that. It's kind of weird that they would have like like this done. Like this is this looks relatively done. Okie dokie then. I'm guessing this was a place where we got like a a thing or something. Looks more like it was lived in. That's fair. Um. Oh, do not. Just head up here. Oh, stop it. I'm not very good at controlling this. <laughs> Damn it. Stop it. I always forget the, the commands for this. Because honestly, I just kind of smash the buttons until they work. Oh, come on. I just did it. Crouch. Okay, I was just hitting the wrong button. Makes sense. But I got it now. 
So this is just above uh, where we were, in case you blinked while I was making a mess of things. Is that a thing? Okay, it's just a thin point there. My question is... How would this have connected? Also, boss fight. I think I'll hop into that as well. Like, does this connect with the room below it? Because the room below it was very barren. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if some creepy pasta stuff starts happening. This is exactly how, you know, your actual copy of OOT gets infected, chat. You start trying to play betas and stuff. Like, honestly, okay, so if you don't know, the way that this was found was actually kind of wild. So data for this game was found on an F-Zero uh, beta cart or whatever. As I'm pretty sure that was the case. But there was a, uh, there was like a, a differently titled game that this ended up being on. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow, this is just very tall. I mean, they, they really did the whole tall thing very well in this beta here, honestly. Okay, let's explore this area right quick. And maybe we can see how this connected to everything else. Oh, okay, I see. I, I, I see. So I would have come down from the bottom and then gone through this way. Do we all live? Let's go. Ah, yes, there we have some spider webs. Wondering when they were going to show up. Also, I'm glad uh, Weiss had mentioned uh, the levitate. It's very handy. And I think this is the last door to explore. There's honestly not, like, too much. Doesn't seem... Okay, yeah, so I've already... Um, okay. Damn it, I forget how to do this. That's the other one. It was RL and... I forget how to go to the menu chat. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up quick. I'm getting me bootins mixed up. Wait, actually, I should have a, a folder with all this information in it. Uh, hold on just a second. In my miscellaneous channel stuff folder. L3, RT. Okay, there we go. Early Dodongo's Cavern. I actually see a lot of similarities here. Honestly, it's massive though this place is huge like wow big echo as well <laughs> oh boy I, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I don't know man I'm kind of glad they got rid of that mm, yes the dark voids I'd forgotten about those. Don't get me wrong. I mean, the echo makes sense, but this this echo, as far as like listening to it, is out of control. Like, does it tink too? Huh. Ooh, are Ocarina notes as well? Imagine chat. Yeah, no, th this is interesting. Ain't no collision on the door yet. That's a cool touch. It, uh, 
Yeah. So the echo's gone now. That, that's a nice little, you know, bit of, uh, not world building, but just like atmosphere, you know what I mean? Yeah, it seems like a lot of this is, uh, I mean, the general concepts are here at least, but they're just kind of smaller. Huh. That's where you fight the, uh, the Lizalfos. Wow, well, this place looks kind of wicked. <laughs> Good to know they didn't change the lava texture much. It's just a little bit duller. I think there's maybe a piece of animation missing on it, but that's about it. There's just like spikes everywhere. Or stalag uh, tights, rather. Echo! Not gonna lie, there's okay. There's clearly some like post processing or some uh, some effects and stuff that aren't quite there. Embalmed, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, but I kind of dig this, like just, just just the way Link looks in this area. Like, yeah, th th this is really like a cool effect. Like how the light is very much so under him. I can imagine it would be kind of difficult to like see your character and like it does look kind of muddy as well, but uh, I like that effect a lot actually. It doesn't really make too much sense for him to be just darker for no reason for that effect to take place, which is probably why it was cut, but uh, but but I like it. It's interesting. Yeah, this looks safe. Yeah, oh, this looks great safe. So this is uh, where you're supposed to push Push the thing out of the way, and then in the uh, vanilla game, there's a switch here, which opens the door, I believe. But they made it like a portion of lava pillar, which is really weird. It's tripping me out, honestly. Yes, very nice. Big hallway. <laughs> The biggest hallway known to man. I, I'm glad they downsized this area, though, I, I will say. Because I've noticed that a lot in this kind of beta. There's a lot of walking around. Ever thank you for the stretch. I appreciate it. Don't drop the controller. Shooting a seed. I wonder if uh, all the songs are in the game. Okay, well, I mean, they're at least there. Uh, and name that sound? All right. So here in a couple seconds, I'm going to be playing a sound. Guess that sound in 60 seconds. It is a video game related sound in three, a two, a one. Monster combo! Okay. If you're not familiar, you might not get that one. But, uh, but if you know the game or know the meme, then that is, uh, it's kind of in the bag for you, chat. It is Killer Instinct. And that is the announcer as well. That was pretty clear, so I'll just go ahead and give you that one. Oh, good work. It's definitely one of those, like, when you know it, you clearly know it. Or if you know, uh, kind of that vein of memes, rather, as well. Is there a map here? There is. Okay. Oh. Ice cavern. Ice cavern. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Got it on the on, on, on the old X bone. Be nice to have this map, you know, available to me, but uh either way. Okay. Let's head into the next room. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's labeled ice cavern either, but I mean it's interesting. I'm not particularly, like, great at, um, fighting games, honestly. Ah, back to the echo chat. I wonder if the boss is... 
fightable. I really wish that they left the enemy placement. I mean, I, well, I, I don't know why the enemies aren't here. I don't know if maybe the modder took them out. So you could just explore or what. But uh, it would be really nice to see what they were thinking as far as enemy placement. Of course, with the way some of these levels look, they may not have even like been in consideration yet. Oh yeah, that's that's probably good. Even that was echoey. <laughs> the boy. <laughs> All right, so clearly we can't do that. Uh, what we can do, however, is um, just uh, do a little cheatsy weetsy. And continue on. Oh my god, the combat would be awful. See, there, here's like the thing, like this is this is so unlike anything that we saw in the original. It's kinda wild. It's also hard to tell, um like what um what of these things so i'm guessing this doorway here was probably placed by the person who's you know touching up the mod just so that you can transition between the two but i'm not entirely sure i'm not like if maybe if we just got this wrong before they had taken care of it maybe these uh these doorways wouldn't have been here for transitions or maybe that's how they were developing it for that transition and they hadn't quite gotten down the uh the walkthrough transition. <laughs> Very surprised, indeed. All right, Echo's gone. This is remnant of like the Shadow Temple. This texture on the walls here. Interesting. Yeah, I'm glad they changed the texture on this. This is a uh, this is very interesting. Chat, what do you think of the odds that we find a spooky Easter egg or something? Just like Super Gun Mario 64. I thought that game was nice and wholesome. And it gave us some spooks. Okay, please stop with the echo. He says as he puts a bomb down, knowing full well it's about to echo. Oh, so this, uh... Okay, this is back where this is. That makes sense. <laughs> no. So the El Rio plaque was actually in Ganon's castle, or what I would assume to be Ganon's castle. So I'm assuming at some point that these areas are going to start, uh... Start to get a lot smaller. So we can kind of, you know, nail through them. Oh, the area up to the boss is, is functional. Okay. Hold up. We actually about to fight a boss, maybe? Let's go. Okay, well, no boss. Good to know this arena changed literally zero. <laughs> lava damage? Okay, lava damage is functional. Fair enough. Jabu Jabu test. Ugh! Ugh! It's gross. Somehow manages to be worse than the uh, than the original Jabu Jabu. I don't know how it managed that. Also, these things don't seem to have. Uh... Okay, they can be killed. Why don't I get out some Deku stacks? Just smack this boy. very interesting. So this tells me that Jabu Jabu was developed after um, the first two temples, which makes some sense. I mean, what happens if we just leave here? Interesting stuff. Forest Temple. Are you darkness? You mean to tell me that Jabu Jabu was actually one of the last areas developed?
Well, that doesn't seem accurate. <laughs> uh, we'll come back to that. Okay. Didn't realize I had entrance randomizer turned on. Sorry, chat. I'll look. What in fuck's name is going on here? <laughs> Everything goes the wrong place. I just want to go home. <laughs> hmm. Like the two most different, pl all the different places all connect to one another. I don't want to explore the water temple yet. No, put that down. Go to the forest temple. No, as an adult. All right, chat. This time we're <sighs> doors don't have collision on this on this map either. Homemade pizza? That could be awesome, honestly. I think that is a solid choice. Either homemade pizza or those uh make some pizza rollers or something. Pizza something sounds good. Of course, I also have like a bunch of pizza still. Again, we find this trend of them like shrinking the levels. Like these levels started out huge and then they shrunk them all down. Which honestly, I really appreciate that. Um, it just kind of like allows you to like, look at all this empty space. Actually, this area doesn't look much smaller, but there's a lot more verticality added in the, um, in the later, like in the uh, vanilla game, my bad. There is something hyper surreal about not having any enemies in this temple. Like, whoa. I love it, but at the same time, kind of creepy. I have not seen a single enemy this entire time. I've only been damaged by the floor. That's all that I have been damaged by. <laughs> That's been the only real obstacle. Is there a music track here? No, there's no music here. Okay. Okay, all right. Well, if creepy was what they're going for, they sure as hell are about to hit it. Force Temple does have very good music. I will give you that. But I, I swear I hear it. I swear I hear the music somewhere. I don't, it's just, it's just like my brain's like, yeah, it's here, clearly. But I, I, I don't actually hear it. Hold on. Oh, hey, a door. Uh, just kind of seeing where all this leads to. Okay, I want to go in this whole ho hallway here. It's got to be subconscious at this point. Yeah, I, it definitely makes sense. So I'm curious what they intended for me to have at this point. Like, was I supposed to have the hook shot here? Maybe there's some... Um... Some funny, like, maybe all... I mean, clearly all the stuff's not put in yet, but... Now there's a fun doorway. Let's go up. Okay, let's... See what's in here. Ah, yes, a nice pedestal. Okay, that leads back down to where I was. I hope I hope a lot of the other areas have music. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, the void. See, that area is not finished. Fair enough. All right, let's find another uh, offshoot to look at. <laughs> You know, classic death door. It's this hallway right here is like the creepiest to me, in my opinion. 
It just gets me. I, I don't know why. Really weird. Also, I wish I had the map so I could see... Okay, that's where I came in, I'm pretty sure. Also, door there? What's the door all about? Uh, we'll explore that last. Not familiar enough. Well, I honestly... It makes it a little more creepy if you don't have the music going in your head, because I'm just like, ah, whatever, I'm hearing things. <sighs> what else is new? Anyway. So this is likely where we were intended to fight uh, fight some of those enemies. Whether they be Stalfos at that point, maybe, maybe not. Oh, there's other doors over here. I'm... I, I'm gonna hit this one before I forget. House of the Dead. Hmm. Oh, this is almost identical. I mean, you know. That area up there was originally used as atmosphere, not actually accessible. That's cool. Does this have... This, this has collision. That's really weird. Why would this area have collision? There's no reason for it to. There's no way you would get up here. Hmm, I sense shenanigans, chat. Also, boss fight, don't mind if I do. Oh, there's the well. Hold up. Let's see this uh, godforsaken well. I can only imagine how creepy it is now. That same red texture. Why does this exist? Why is this red texture here? Why is this random door here? And it was at that day that newborn Helix was cursed. Well, okay, that, that loads the next area. That's what that door is for, chat. Look, don't mess with the door. I've always disliked this texture. I, I feel like it's just out of place for a well. Because you'd think like a well, it, unless it's a bloody well, it's going to have stuff like, uh, you know, literally anything but that big red color. What? This looks like uh, maybe a switch area. Oh, this is a gay baby jail, actually. Huh. Okay, so this was this was a uh, this was DLC. We didn't need to come up here. I'm guessing this leads to the other side. Okay, so they cut out the room that you would get the map from. Oh, I just want to take a peek in here. Come on. Be cool, my guy. Okay. Makes sense. The grass in the water? I didn't notice any grass in the water. What is underwater? Oh, nothing. Take a peek. Oh, on the other side? Okay. All right, let's head back to the main room. We got a lot to cover today, chat, and about an hour to do so. Maybe like 40 minutes or so. So I'm pretty sure that's the last door we haven't gone in, plus this rando standing door here. Mourn the comrades. I think it's interesting how, so they really expanded a lot of things in the beta, like they, well, I suppose they shrunk them down for the original, but these hallways are just like, I don't know, there's something really weird about these hallways. They're just, they're, it's fucking weird. Also, I'm still hearing the music. Oh, we got checker? What? Hey, well, the ceiling's not falling.
Interesting. So I wonder if maybe... Oh, I wonder if maybe... So, this reminds me of the Majora's Mask, where you go through the minigame where they have the pillars that raise up. This reminds me a lot of that area. I wonder if they didn't scrap it for this game because it was annoying and tedious and put it as a minigame in Majora's Mask, like kind of reusing that concept. But I don't even know what the, like... What would, what's our goal? Oh, random door. Okay. That's comforting. Let's go to the random door. Out in the abyss. Oh yeah, this is a good idea, chat. I think we may have broken it. Oh! Oh, hey, we got more content, chat. I'm just, like, enamored by this. Hmm. Okay, well, that's great. Can I get up here? Probably. Okay, it didn't seem like that was going to do anything for me, but... Store of Collision does not have collision. Yeah, like, the textures are really cool. I, I, I like this design. Did they use this in the finished product? So I'm just going to assume that the area in front of me is solid ground. Looks like there actually might be a drop way there, perhaps. Okay, so it does seem to be a bit of... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And then you fall into this area. Okay. Huh. Also, FFA is available if anyone is interested. I think we're about done here. Unless I can find any more rando doors. Well, let me just... Just no clip here for a second. Okay. Fire Temple. You think this is the entrance to the Fire Temple? This looks like the place where you get to... Uh, this is so dark. This looks like the place where you get the hammer. All right. This is definitely the challenge to get the hammer. Like, 100%. I wonder why it starts me here. So this is where the hammer would have been. This is where I put my Megaton hammer. If I had one! If anyone remembers that. <laughs> Dinkelberg, the Fairly Odd Parents meme. It's good stuff, chat. I'm gonna quick save here, try this door. And I'll try dropping down, see if that doesn't uh, yield results as well. Okay, interesting. That area is actually relatively familiar. I mean, it had a little bit of a, you know, difference here and there, but... Okay, this is where the rocks were. Or are, rather. Again, there's just... It's so dark. Like, I'm sure that that's kind of like a product of it just not being finished yet, but... Can you imagine if this was the game we got? Like, how this... Now the fire temple's creepy. No, what could be lurking around these many corners? Like, you never know. Man, it is dark, my boy. Okay, well, it's good to know that door is still in the same spot, at least. Sandstorm erupts. Mike, well done. You've completed the RNG test of killing everybody. So that just leads you back into the room, right? Yeah, it's just slightly different. With Dwayne's around. I love that. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that with the class. <laughs> with the rocks. Okay, just uh, more of the same. And then just... Oh, wow. I'm glad you can jump off of this, because... In the original, like in the vanilla game, you really can't jump off that. You just like slip. Okay, 
Boy, they really doubled down on this maze thing, huh? Okay, let's get some... Get some high ground here. Like the whole damn levels. Just one big maze. Oh, there's a door. Okay. Well, this this whole part of the level anyway. Oh, that's what I meant. Sorry, Link. I did I honestly I didn't think you had it under control, so I <laughs> my bad. Hey, these areas didn't change too much. Where's all the gay baby jails? Uh, they're all in the forest temple. They literally had... Jeez, it's so dark! Like, I, I can't see, like, hardly anything in front of me. What's down here? Nice. Just random holes? That's fun. Actually, it looks like maybe the whore... Or, the whore. <laughs> uh, maybe the holes... Um, maybe they count... They uh, uh, allow you to drop uh, those little spike things in. Ah, I missed a loading zone somewhere. It's not meant to load that way. Well, chat, it's real dark now. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I guess it was, huh? Okay, so I'm kind of looking for the doorway here. I, I want to explore this top area a little bit more, but I don't think I'm going to have that luxury. Maybe if I go a little slower. I don't think it's meant to load the opposite way. Okay, cool, cool. Just had to actually hit the trigger. <laughs> the, the old fire temple whores. What is down? What is down, chat? Oh. Well, that's not nearly as exciting as I was thinking it was going to be. Chat, what if I told you this was the version of Ocarina of Time that I played when I was a, a, a small boy? Like, yeah, you wouldn't believe me, but... <laughs> hmm, this floor seems to be made of floor. Hmm. Uh, I think this is just the main room again. Which I'm guessing is going to be the case for... the other two options as well. Boy, they, they really liked this thing in the middle with, like, confusing maze around it. Yeah. I got the beta one. Yeah, it's just, like, all the same room. I'm guessing, you know, there's traps and stuff down here. Sure, but... A door! Is this the last door we did not go into? Looks like it. Okay. Well, let's head back out this way, and we'll go down to uh, the main area again. <laughs> I I got the version with no enemies, no items, nothing in it. I think I'd rather have the enemies. This is weird. Okay, let's explore this area first. So this should be the entrance. Okay, some changes. I see them. They made the stairs annoying. That's nice. Nice plaque here. Oh, let's check uh, check the master key room. Non-existent. Okay, makes sense. Maybe they didn't quite have the idea of what they wanted the item to be just yet. So they didn't know that they would need to put those pillars there. It's because no one can hear him scream, so so you just gotta get it, you know? What a room, chat. What a room. Whoa. 
an invisible twin rover? Do you think that's this version? What if it was? Spookiness. Just walk through the lava. It's fine, chat. Don't mind me. Also, ironically, the lava doesn't have the lava effect, but, uh, but Ganon's castle does in almost its entirety. What is this, chat? All right, that's not your computer doing weird things, by the way. That's me slowly trying to hit whatever loading zones I can. Oh, this is this area. Hmm. Well, well, well. Seems as if we've explored basically everything. Oh wait, no, there's one more spot uh, that we haven't explored. I just have to find it. Is that actually a thing? Or are you just fooling? So if you remember, there was a door here that I kind of bypassed. But I'm um, not really sure where it is. It's on the outskirts somewhere. I know that for sure. But it was a door that I just completely bypassed. Because I wanted to explore the rest of this area first, but... Chat, there is actually music here, right? I'm not just imagining it. 95% say yes. Yeah, boy, they really did this, uh, this vertical room thing a lot, didn't they? I mean, it makes sense. We're, we're in, like, a... We're supposed to be in a volcano. I wonder if this, like, like, the lore of this isn't that we're, like, going up into the actual inside of the volcano instead of being, like... Okay, now we're, like... In the original game, we started in the volcano. But um, in this game, maybe we're like working our way like through like the actual like upper bit of the volcano because there's a lot of verticality here. I mean, there's a decent bit in the vanilla as well, but like a lot of the rooms are like climb this, climb that. Ah, yes, the red room. Red room of doom. Cassie. Sending it to the DMs? Nice. That'd be a fun thing to fun thing to do. I never would have uh, figured that out because I don't know, like, why would you just chill in the room for 10 minutes? <laughs> huh. Oh, I'd rather stay away from them. Thank you. My right, chat last room. See what the boss arena looked like. Okay, yeah, I see a uh, I do see the remnants. Not climb back up. Ooh. Hadn't quite ironed that one out yet, I suppose. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Can't wait for the VOD. Well, welcome to the Sage stream. You can view most of it now. Uh, we, we've been exploring pretty slowly, slow, so. Now, speaking of which, over to the water temple. As an adult. Wait, is this water safe? Wow. Welcome to the Sage stream. Probably, honestly. Probably what I said. Would you be surprised? Like, that's the... I'd, I'd be more surprised if you were surprised. You know how brain function. No slidey stairs, either. Welcome to the stream. Or welcome to the Sage stream. 
Chat, do you think this place is not a piece of shit? It's fucking huge again. God, I'm so glad that they made the map smaller. Oh, well, I'm, you know, glad to see that the general idea of this temple has not changed. Uh, but boy, it is quite extensive. All right, well, let's just start exploring. It's so tall. It's so tall. Like, we'll probably do like maybe three or four rooms or something. <laughs> Big brain, many wrinkle. Ooga booga. <laughs> A caveman noise. This place has music at least. Ah, yes, a way to the void. I don't know what I was expecting, chat. I was expecting it to stop me. And I don't know, I think that says more about me, honestly. I totally agree, this looks awful. I like this wall texture, though. I don't think this, I, 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 I think it was a little bit different in the original, I'm pretty sure. The noisiest link. Um, I don't know. Ocarina of Time is pretty noisy. I bet it would have to be Ocarina of Time just because of uh, familiar f familiarity, mostly. Yeah, which I am hyper glad for, Mike, honestly, because it's... I'm spending a lot of time walking. Also, boss fight time. I think I'll hop into that as well. Don't mind if I do. Slatter functioning? Slatter does not function. All right, well, I don't know about you, chat, but I'm getting kind of tired of looking at the water temple. Visually, yeah, I mean, they're they're really cool looking areas. What is going on here? What is this like spike area? Oh, is this? I wonder if this was the pl like the placeholder for spikes. Interesting. So, okay, like you walk in here and the whole thing is spikes. Maybe. I don't actually know if that's the case, but that, you know, this text picture here cer certainly seems to hint at that. All right, well, anyway. The Gerudo training ground. As a child. Damn, Big Betty got slapped again. Look, as if it's even weird at this point, right? So it's just like a maze area. Why they really fucking love their mazes in the beta, didn't they? Half of it's maze. And half of it is just darkness. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm glad they didn't do it, Mike, honestly. Oh, this is a chest here for sure. So I wonder if it would follow suit with the whole, like, oh, uh, just get a bunch of keys, you know what I mean? I wonder if that wasn't the main idea. Maybe they just really wanted to make sure that you, you knew how to walk. Like, you're not gonna forget it. Hello. It's that weird, creepy statue thing, chat. I love this thing. I hate the fact there's so many mazes. There's an, a gratuitous amount of mazes. 
I mean, we, we've explored, what, like half the temples? And most of them have had a maze. Okay, I think we just need to explore a little bit more on the forward direction, and then we can even see what's a... Uh, what weird randomized warp I'm gonna get if I decide to leave this area. Ah, yes. This is Dampe's grave. Yeah! And, and actually, Weiss just, just mentioned that. That's super weird. This is honestly very surreal, too. Like, I wonder if it's the same route and everything. Not that I would remember the route, but you know. Grass. That grass is probably a hint, right? A hot new thing. That's fair. I mean... It does kind of like really emphasize like, oh, hey, we're in 3D space now. And who knows? I mean, maybe, maybe back in the day, that would have been like, oh my God, another maze. This is incredible. Uh, but today, eh, not great. <laughs> Your clickbait thumbnails. But here's the thing, Sage. Are what's happening in the thumbnail actually happening in the video? Because then it's not clickbait. Well, not in the full sense, anyway. Ah, yes. The conclusion. For a frame. Hey, if it happens, it happens. Oh, get... Stop, stop it. Oh, yeah. Oh, trapped now, I see. Okay. Thank you. Very cool. Do you mind? So I wonder if we would have gotten the hookshot here. Also, the implication of Dampe's grave being in the Gerudo training ground. Very interesting. What if he was the first Ganon, but was murdered to death? Um, let's do one more. We'll go adult and see what happens if I leave here. JK, I will not be seeing what happens if I leave here because I am stuck. Fair enough. Older Hyrule Field. What? There's multiple Hyrule Fields? All right, chat. Let's look at older Hyrule Field. Ooh, that is a... Boy, these are textures, chat. These sure are textures. Also, dungeon music. Just, uh, just throwing that one in there. Let's, let's explore a little bit. Pretty sure this is faster. Chat, you remember when I said, uh... Long on range. Do you remember when I said that they basically uh, condensed everything in for the final? It seems like Hyrule Field got the same treatment. This is huge. Maybe, like, maybe it just seems huge because, like, I mean, you know, you don't have the Ipana or anything like that. So maybe it just looks huge. The actual uh, Hy Hyrulean Field is actually quite large. Sorry, my brain is fried already. Like, I'm just existing at this point. No, let me in. Okay. Can I get in your field? Yeah. I will trounce your crops yet. What if there just was something in here, chat? Um, okay, well. That's fun. Let's look at newer Hyrule Field. Let's see. Let's see the process, chat. Ooh, textures, chat. And the music. All right, all right. A bunch of random bullshit just laying around for why not. Also, I can't use my ocarina here. I think that's strange, but you know, go off. <gasps> it's 
Hyrule Castle Town. Also, there's just random fences for you to jump over with Apana for really no reason. Uh, you know I'm going over that gate, Chad. Triforce is indeed at Lon Lon. To think it could have been under our noses this whole time. <laughs> That's funny, Weiss. Or Weiss. Alright, so... I say we try to head into town and just see where that takes us. Much of these old textures used in one randomizer that I played? I'm not sure. So I know that uh, maybe they were the Master Quest textures. Also, water wasn't invented at this point, so, you know. I'm gonna touch the town. I touched the town, chat. Hmm. So if we see a fence, it means it was closer to completion. That's a very interesting idea. Yo, can I get a back here, please? Is there a collision here? There's... I was not expecting there to be collision here. Why would there be? I'm literally in the town right now. Yeah, there's something, like, really weird about this experience. For sure. Okay, that's a little bit more reasonable. Oh, while we're thinking about, actually, Sh Shadow of the Colossus, uh, something very interesting about that game, or, well, this game, in relation to that game. So, damn, I like, uh, I like the other Kakariko Village a lot more. <laughs> um, anyway, originally, Ganon was actually going to be... Um, going to be like a Shadow of the Colossus style boss fight. Like he was going to be huge and he'd like climb on him and stuff. I, I don't remember where I heard that from, but yeah, it's, you know, interesting. Yeah, Kakariko Village is garbage. <laughs> we took the castle, guys. <laughs> We're here. I'm just hoping one of these has... One of these doors has uh, some collision that I can gain access to. It does not seem as if they do, though. Right, well, we're at least going to do the fence. Also, there's one more house over there that I want to explore. <gasps> Transition chat! Oh, here, here we go again, chat. Where, where are we going to end up? Hey, we're here. Wait, this is just Vanilla Market. Why is this here? This should not be here. Did I just manage to wiggle my way into, like, the actual game? Oh, no. Okay, this isn't... This is not Vanilla. It's close to Vanilla, but it's just not quite there. This is really weird, chat. I'm, like, in the vanilla game. But things are wrong. Okay. Okay. Let me see what Kakariko Village is like. And then we'll, uh... Then we'll go... Oh my god, you're still here. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best, who? Hey, I probably should have listened to him. Maybe he had some... Maybe he had some beta dialogue or something. I mean, he's always got beta dialogue, if you know what I mean. Okay, anyway. Got him. Yeah, we're just in vanilla game now. Okay, I just want to see if maybe I can go inside a house or something. I don't know how we managed to just wiggle our way into vanilla, but you know how it'd be. I don't want to be in vanilla. Graveyard. Wait. Okay. I'm waiting. 
yeah, we're, we're in vanilla now. Like, I don't know how we managed to just go to vanilla. Right, let's head to the beta graveyard. Somehow creepier. Wait, this was like the other side of the fence. Okay, so, so this is the Kakariko fence. The one we just exited, which should have taken us here. But, uh, but it did not. Also, no music, by the way. Okay, these are uh, weird gravestones. I, I, I think I like the original a bit more. They look like pressure plates, which is the most disrespectful thing I think I've ever said in my life, honestly. <laughs> People's gravestones are pressure plates. Don't. <laughs> Just don't behave that way. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. <gasps> Upside down Triforce. We're in low rule, chat. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only person who noticed. Okay, hold on. Um, that Triforce being upside down is actually really interesting. What if, like... What if... So the only thing I can think of is that right now we are in the adult timeline of of the uh, of this temple here, the temple time, which might be like that may have originally been like Ganondorf's symbol at some point. I I, I honestly don't know. We're getting into some really, like, odd theory. Yeah, of course. Are we back in vanilla again? Hey, if I wanted to be in vanilla, trust me, I would let you know. Yo, let me in. Okay, we have to interact with the door. But there are bars gating it. Or ga gates. The bars barring it. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, as I said, brain fried. Lost woods. Damn, Lost Woods, uh, be hitting a bit different. Yes, the Inverted Triforce was in the beta. Now, bear in mind, um, I mean, there could be some funny business, like maybe the person that made this put it in there as like a little Easter egg. I don't know. Uh, but I would think that the person wouldn't go through too much effort to, you know, make things like all weird and stuff, but... Who knows? Inverted Triforce was Termina? I, I don't remember, I don't recall that. That's uh interesting. On the stone tower? Hmm. I'll have to look again. I, I don't recall that. Very interesting, chat. Ah, yes. Back to vanilla game. Perfect. Happy mass salesman. You've been met with a wonderful fate, haven't you? Oh, he's not here. Shut up! I apologize. That wasn't very nice. I should probably be a little bit nicer. Let's go to castle. See if there's any more funny business to get into. Ugh, vanilla barf. Okay, Kokiri Forest. Also, FFA is available. I think I will go ahead and do that. Looks like this actually stayed relatively the same. No, except the giant fence. <laughs> to, to keep this... That's probably where the adults are. And they're like, leave me alone. So this is my house. Wait, actually this might be... I don't know what this area is, so I'm not going to continue to explore it. <laughs> Look, man, the guy works hard, okay? Why are you blocking me off from going over there? What's over there that I shouldn't know about? 
You blocking it off only makes me want to go over there more. Go to the shop. Right, nothing takes me anywhere it should. I forgot. What was I thinking? I should start a uh, quick saving before going into places. Also, it is dead silent in this area, which is weird. There's, usually there's like children. Why? Wait, what if we do adult timeline? Ooh, that could be interesting. So I bet this is i uh, I'm gonna actually explore over here. It seems like most of these areas all lead to the same spot. But like, we can just, you know, gates. What are they even really good for, okay? Uh, I am playing on a, a completely legitimate copy of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, uh, published by Nintendo and produced by Nintendo. Now that I've said <laughs> the Nintendo word a handful of times, the Nintendo ninjas are on their way. I see one more house that I really want to explore. It's this one way up here on top of the hill. If anything's gonna cause a creepypasta, it's this. And it did not. Fair enough. Sacred Forest Meadow as adult. Bro, sick meadow. This is incredible. Chat, they call it walking simulator. Like someone made that uh Okay, something's coming into something's coming into view. We got we got content. Okay. That's good. That's good chat. That's real good. There was no sound at all in that area. Okay, well anyway, Lake Hylia. As adult for, fuck. It's all the same, chat. You were the one that made the joke? There you go. Are we back in vanilla now? Can I be in vanilla now? No, I'm stuck again. Zora's River. Ooh. <laughs> Grass water. You know, whenever I step on water, I, maybe it's supposed to be ice or something, and it's like the crunching of ice, but it's kind of weird. Also, big wind energy. Every time I say blank, like anything blank energy, I just think of Pokemon cards. Like fire energy. Grass energy, or leaf energy, or whatever it's called. I don't remember, remember the proper words for it, but that is just a glimpse into the brain of newborn Keelik. And I gotta say, yet again, I'm really glad they decided... Uh, ooh, boss fight time. Don't mind if I do. Really glad they decided to, uh, to kind of rein things in a little bit, because this is a huge walk. I have a brain? Who told you that? No one said that. Okay. Well, I mean, I gotta spend six hours here eventually, chat. That's just vanilla fucking temple too. Interesting. Okay. Wait, is this actually vanilla? It's actually vanilla. Okay. Were these boxes always here? Oh, hey, chat. Oh, it's dead hand. Wait. Wait, chat. This isn't vanilla. We're off the rails, chat. Oh, it, okay. It, it could be Master Quest, actually. I wasn't considering that. Um, anyway. Fishing Pond. 
didn't change much. It didn't change much. Okay. I guess it's changed a lot. This this water doesn't exist, actually. Well, they really did just make a lake, didn't they? And that is it. Gerudo Valley. Ah, yes. Another half-completed area. Music? No music. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. So... I think the reason that the Master Quest uh, assets were there was because this ROM is actually running off of a Master Quest version. Don't know why, but uh, it was for whatever reason. I'm guessing just because it had more of the assets or something. That's I just complete speculation, but... So this is actually running off of Master Quest. So I, I guess when I say we went vanilla mode... I'm actually saying we went, like, Master Quest mode. I mean, legitimate copy of the game. Please don't send the Nintendo ninjas after me. wonder if this transition still works. wonder if this water works, actually. It doesn't. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm used to physics taking effect. No! Not Nintendo lawyers. They're going to make questionable decisions about their own IPs that they completely have a right to do, but no one will like. <gasps> it's happy again. Ah, chat, we're back in this loop. Here we go. Yeah, okay, we're back in this. Horseback archery. This is cute. Again, absolutely massive area for no good reason. <laughs> but hey, we get to ride up on a... I'm assuming it doesn't crash the game anyway. Hey, 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 no, controller. I fucking dropped it. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry I hit you, Ipana. And said, hiya. Oh, don't pull on that. Try shooting the targets. Solid choice. Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. Am I still controlling? Okay, I'm still controlling. We're still good. I just gotta hit one, chat. Okay, well, this is officially the lamest archery course I've ever seen in my life. Well, they at least hit. No cursing. Why would you say that to me? All right, no cursing. Five minutes. You got it. A punishment for dropping the controller. Or hya ing Ipana for no reason. Man, even Ipana takes forever to get anything done in this in this game like with this huge map man they really wanted to make sure that you were not going to run out of space <laughs> I, I suppose you know it's it's different well anyway i think that's about enough there hyrule castle finally we get to explore hyrule castle wonder what happens if we explore it as an adult too okay we'll have to figure that out since I'm the only thing alive, uh, we will uh, have a pretty easy time getting up to the, the Owl Princess. I wonder if, uh, if that secret's still there. Probably not. <laughs> I love the randomized sounds on, Ocarina, on uh, r r like randomizers. It is actually peak comedy, honestly. Okay, well, not much. Is, does the water work? Does not. Okay, good to know. Good to know. But now we're over here, chat. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Death Mountain Trail.
But I think I'm just going to start going down the line instead of uh, going through, like, warp zones and stuff. Because it doesn't, uh... I mean, it doesn't really matter, like, where it goes. Hmm, I'm sure it was on accident, Mike. Look, to be fair, the internet's a weird place, so I will believe you that it was on accident. Secret? What am I thinking? There's not going to be secrets already. There aren't going to be any rocks. Right, let's just head up this way. Tetris hentai? Fair. You mean tentri? Ha 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 ha. Death Mountain Crater as an adult. Oh, cheery music for someone who's about to be burnt alive. Yo, this magma though. I like the magma a lot. Oh, so this is fun. I was... <laughs> oh, wait, actually this, uh, this debunks my idea that I had earlier about, like, going up into the, like, up into the, uh, into the fire temple. Interesting. How many parts are there? Um, good question. We're probably gonna start, so, we're actually running out of, like, large areas to explore, so this is probably gonna start speeding up quite a bit. Yeah, like, right now we're pretty much done with this area. Yeah, we're going to, like, Cave A, Cave B, Cave C, stuff like that. Cave! But I do believe there are a handful more places to go, like, quite a few. Uh, but they should all go relatively quickly. Of course, this is the beta of Ocarina of Time, where a cave system is actually, like, a 20-minute endeavor. But overall... Interesting. Like, I'm, I, I just, I can't stop thinking, like, what would, why does this exist? Like, why would this be here? You know what I mean? Hmm. It's always a blue rupee chat. Every single time. That's a crash, me boys. Reset? Ooh, that's a hard crash, me boys. Alright, um, just one. Oh, that's a really hard crash. Hold on. Can you guys still hear me? Okay, OBS seems to be fine. But yeah, that was a bad crash. Like, real bad crash. Um, okay, let me open that back up. Beta maps. Okay, so where were we, chat? Mountain Crater, Cave A, Cave B time. Okay, so it's, it's in the desert. Makes sense. No music again. Still no music on that one. I'm also going to quick save here just in case I hit a load zone or something. This is like the twistiest, turniest cavern I've ever seen. Yeah, we're gonna try to avoid going there. It's the IRL creepypasta. It's very like, there, there's a lot of, well. Oh. Next. Why do you exist? Hey look, it's a game that doesn't have look spring and it's great. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's all about. There's just a rando X here, though. No, oh, into the abyss! May yeah, I found the gay baby- oh, well, never mind, we're not in gay baby jail, we're just- I mean, we're still pretty much in gay baby jail. <laughs> ah, yes. Please. 
Please jostle me about more. I enjoy it. Can I get up? Am I stuck here? This looks like distinctly like an I'm stuck area. Huh. Let's just get a nice big view of this cave system. Hello, what is that? Think I didn't see that. Whoa, this cave is way bigger than I thought it was. Another X. What if... Hear me out here. Huh. Yeah, I don't really, uh... I don't really understand that, but, uh... Loading zone it is. Oh, creeper. Time for cave C. This has heavy, heavy, heavy... Okay, well, I was hoping for a jump, but you know. Heavy uh, Gerudo training area vibes to it. All right. Head back up and we'll take a nice, nice little scenic look at this. Yeah, I agree. These these caves are pretty neat, honestly. All right, this one is pretty simple. Market entrance render. Okay, so this is a. Uh... So when we did this, we actually weren't in vanilla. How do I even know what's vanilla anymore, chat? So hard to tell. Low rule. Do we have all the stuff? Huh. Um, chat, I'm gonna try something quick. So I will... I want to see... Um, oh, name that sound. You got it, here you go. Here's the sound. Okay. That's a tricky one. Um, I want to cheat and give myself these items and see what happens. So I just need to look into something right quick. Just one moment. I need my Zelutma. And to look at the cheats in that one. Okay, I don't have all, like, have everything, unfortunately. Okay, so that one's not gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start, uh, that. It is, sorry, it is the fire sound from, uh, from there, though. Sorry, I'm not trying to overlap this music here. It just is kind of happening that way. Okay, do I have the cheat here? I want the cheat that gives me, like, everything. Ocarina of Time, because I want to see what happens if I open this door, or like if I try to trigger the thing that lets me open the door. So I feel like there's probably a reason that I don't have all this stuff, but uh, you know how it'd be. I'm uh, ignoring that. Okay, this is the US 1.0 version, so maybe this has the cheat on it. Okay, it does. Okay, so I need have all or something. I guess I could do this while we're 
so you can see what I'm working with here. Turn on another song as well. Oh, there's Moon Jump. We could take that one, but I think we're okay on that for now. Um, there's any item in any location. That could be fun. We gotta go. All right, we'll have fun. <laughs> Not equipment, I guess it would be this. All quests slash status items, okay. And hopefully this is, uh, this is Luigi's Mansion music. It's a completely different uh, mod, so that makes sense. Okay, anyway. Back to the main attraction. Also, don't mind the plane going over. Head. Fountain chat! Guys, we found it. It's the fabled unicorn fountain. It was here all along. Vomit. Echo as well, jeez. Also, I love the... the background. Real nice. Chamber of Sages. Okay, well... Yeah. Interesting. This was, a uh, This was white at some point, or like silver at some point. Can I touch that? Yeah, I'm still- look, you can try to stop me all you want. I'm still gonna try. Okay, there's no collision here. Fair enough. Okay, so the rest of this we're probably gonna kind of speed run through. I'm pretty sure we've already done this. Yeah, not just the boss fight room. Prototype Deku Tree, what? Oh, that's what I keep running into, is the prototype Deku Tree. Okay, I was like, I already saw the prototype Deku Tree, but... I do see how this, like, this kind of middle bit was here. It's really kind of interesting because... Things in this prototype right here are actually a bit more to scale, you know, than I, uh... Compared to, like, the original game, than the actual beta content was. Okay. Well. What a fine prototype we have indeed. And he's what? Stalfosa. Stalfosa. <laughs> There's alpha stuff. Yeah, no, that's like uh that's pretty interesting. Actually, you can access this room uh, through just master quest using this menu. Maybe same with this room, too. But that last room that we checked out was actually in a couple publications, I think. Uh, for like, oh, it's it's cool beta, watch out, uh, beta files. Textureless scene, okay. Oh my god, it's beautiful. What is this, a Mario pipe? Can't backflip? That's weird. Hmm. Chat, we could green screen anything we wanted over this. But I don't have my green screen set up right now. Also, boss fight. I'll do that. Sure will. Alright, well. Ladder test. <gasps> Let's test and see if the ladders work. They do, chat! The ladders work! And varying lengths of ladders, chat. <laughs> Some green screen memes. 
Yeah, well, other than that, it's just uh, it's just a test room. I really should get it. Man, I can't side jump in here. That's kind of weird. Can't backflip either. I can't do anything except throw bombs. Yeah, some of this is, uh... Hi. Some of this isn't new. But this, I'm pretty sure, is new. The, you know, the, the Samus Morph Ball, I, I think, is new. If I had to guess, we're probably almost done here. I'm, I'm just trying to piss Ben off, you know what I mean? Plain test. Hard reset? No, oh, that's a hard crash. Okay. Now let me hop back in. Fine, we won't go to that one. That was plain test, I think. SRD test. Cool. It's just a void. That's pretty neat. Yo, this would be very useful for some creepypasta shit, though. Honestly? Hey, we've reached the end of the void. What happens if you're on a void and you fall off? Double void. <laughs> well, at least it's nice enough to respawn you back on the primary void. This looks like a cutscene area, maybe. You could avoid it. What the fuck? Did I just... That was a weird, like... Weird turn I just did. Anyway, uh, I, I guess I'm doing research for the next no turn challenge. Is this all just vanilla stuff? Okay, this all looks vanilla. Anything new here? It's all just Hyrule Field, chat. Look, it all comes back to Hyrule Field. Come on. Come on. Go down. I'll try 100. It's just Hyrule Field again. Go to 69. Hey, we can fast go now. Okay, we'll do 125, and then we'll do 69 for the memes as well. It's just Hyrule Field again. Yo, 16 is probably going to be Hyrule Field. But we'll see. Okay. Anywho's it's what? Uh, looks like we're pretty much done here. A little bit longer of a stream than normal, but hey, not upset about it. I was having a lot of fun. It always has been. <laughs> At the end of the day, you all managed to win both of the... Uh, of the... Name that sounds. Big surprise. Because you get to go first. Because if you don't, it's really not fair. But anyway... Uh, Navi, what do you want? Listen. Yeah, I know the great Deku Tree wants everything. Anyway, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. It's helped me out an awful lot. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, this was fun. I'm really glad that we got to kind of experience all this together. So thank you so much for joining me uh, in all this. And everyone who's been around for the whole stream. Like, if you've been around the whole stream, Chad, just saying. Um, but anyway, newborn Helix, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.